What's going on everyone? Today we are checking out Fury Unleashed. This is releasing on May 8th, 2020 for the Nintendo Switch, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. Uh, the game is a roguelike action platformer. There's lots of cool stuff in it. It works on a combo system, so the more combo you have, the more resistant you are to damage and the better your life retention is. And yeah, I'm excited to try it out. It looks like a really cool style of game, almost like a... 2D like doom kind of thing this is what the tile looks like pretty similar to the main menu and we're gonna dive right in and see what this is about all right so I, as we can see from the main menu we got to play solo co-op options leaderboards even achievements which is pretty nice to see on the switch so we're gonna dive into solo uh, they have hard mode and easy mode uh, this mode is how we meant fury Road unleashed to be played it's pretty challenging and made for gamers to like to be put who like to put their skills to the test and get better if necessary. Choose this mode if you enjoy overcoming the challenge. Easy is the difficulty can be adjusted in the pause menu and disables most achievements and leaderboards. And it just makes the game accessible with, uh, you know, and so forth. So let's just go with hard, I guess. I like how you can upgrade your character. I guess this is the story mode. Um, this is like a comic book. That's kind of cool. So we're going to dive right in. Deep in the Amazon jungle, an ancient evil has awakened. Only Fury could stop it from devouring the world. There was many threats on his way. It was, for it was fortunate that eliminating threats was his profession. You're awake, brave hero. Good, I am Mr. Doodle. You must be confused, but I'm here to help you. But first, let's make sure you remember everything. Oh. Dual stick trigger uh, shooter. What do they call that? Well, it plays pretty smooth. The graphics are okay. I mean, it's um, not high budget. I don't know how I just... Oh, you can shoot with ZR too. I didn't realize. I feel like once you get the hang of this, this game will be, like, crazy fast-paced. Again, I got this game as a review code, uh, actually from Keymailer. Alright, so I guess that was the tutorial, and we're going to dive in now. Chapter 1. Load screen's kind of interesting, how it's like a comic book almost. I kind of like that. Oh, this is the map, okay. Somewhere deep in the Amazon jungle. My quest begins. I got grenades and my ice power. So I guess things are actually going to start attacking us now. Mercenary armor. Equip. Absorb 100. Armor 2 out of 2. Kills enemies randomly spawns grenade crates. What? This guy jumps really high. He's got hops. This is insane. Like, look how high up you can jump. Oh my god, you can double jump too. Sniper rifle. Hell yeah, let's equip that. Press down R to change weapon. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was pretty nice. I could see myself really enjoying this game. Remember, like I said, it comes out May 8th. Press R to sprint. You can press R to dash over. Re quickly reach subsequent goals to complete the challenge. Oh, I see. No, fail. Fail. Oh, wait. Ah. Uh. All right, whatever. We're not going to worry about that right now. This is just a gameplay. I'm just trying to show some gameplay here. I am not doing that well. Rocket launcher? Ooh. What the heck's happening? Excellent. I say you are still the same old hero you've always been. But your powers have now faded. You have to reclaim them and write your history anew. You may think you fight for glory, but there is more at stake here. We should turn your eyes to the sacred relic, the monolith of revelation. It contains many truths about the creator. All right. Comic book universe. 20 years of unleashing the fury. Oh, look at that. I'm like going through the pages of the comic. That's really cool how they did that. I like this concept a lot. And it gives you your character stats. Or your chapter stats, rather. Sorry. All right. Chapter 2. Let's see what this looks like. Some kind of longer... Well, I guess it's not the longest load times. There's definitely a lot longer load times on the Switch, so it's not absolutely terrible. I like that you can switch weapons on the fly. That's really nice. A little bit of lag there. Sorry, I feel like I'm still getting used to the controls. Small donation gives me increased bullet damage by 5%. Hell yeah. Did I die? Oh my god, I died. Oh, we can upgrade him now. He hit level 2. Okay. Remember, this is a roguelike, guys. Increase your maximum health points. And then you have stats. Accessories. You can change your appearance, your skin color, your hair color. This is pretty cool. I like that. Oh, you can make your guy look really cool. Oh, we gotta go with Mohawk. Hell yeah, now we look dope. <laughs> uh, we got some guns unlocked. Story. Statistics, enemies, bosses, main boss. Wow, there's a lot of bosses and main bosses, huh? So increase maximum life, and we have another skill point. Increase the chance of generating health orbs when killing enemies. Gives you more time before combo ends. Reduces time required to reload your weapon. Hmm, I feel like that one would be good. Oh, and you can downgrade stuff. That's interesting. And then that's what our hero now looks like. Alright, so let's try, let's try it once more. Okay, again, not the best, not the worst loading times I've seen on the Switch. There's definitely way worse. And that's something they can patch out in time. Many developers have. I don't, it's not a huge gripe. Whoa.
Come on, I'm reloading. I'm actually kind of glad I got that reloading. Nice. Combo unlocked. Achievement 10. Your reward, 500. I guess that's like a currency I use. Oh, I got hit. I thought there was a lever for some reason. I'm having fun playing this game. I like it. Ooh, shotgun. Hell yeah. And you can do a no blood mode as well, which is nice. And they also have a selection to turn off timer. I should probably be looking at the map more, but it is what it is. Ooh, I fast traveled. By your shoulders? Is that what it said? You run super fast. Oh my god. Skull mace. Oh, and then if you absorb it, you get a hundred more. Ooh, the skull mace is pretty cool. Melee Master. Very cool. So, that was Fury Unleashed for the Nintendo Switch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to follow on Twitter at fstein underscore gaming and on Twitch at frankenstein underscore gaming if you haven't already. Make sure to check out my podcast as well as follow me on Instagram and anywhere else. Um, special thanks again to Awesome Games. Remember the game releases May 8th, 2020 in Nintendo eShop. Uh, and it's about 780 megs in size. Uh, I kind of slipped my mind on getting the price before I downloaded it, so now it doesn't show me. I believe it was $20, maybe $15. Uh, but yeah, check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again.